And in this case, we now have another anomaly that's difficult to explain. This little red dot. And this is an anomaly for so many reasons. First of all, here researchers don't even know exactly what this is. Little red dots have been discovered before, and once again, a video in the description talks about them more. But here, unlike previous detections, and unlike previous galaxies and even previous distant black holes, the spectroscopic analysis revealed something that definitely stands out. We get Lyman alpha emission. Not a drop-off, not a break, but an actual emission from something super powerful producing UV light, which at these distances should not be visible. Once again, all of the previous detections, even from much closer galaxies, always have a drop-off or a break. Or basically, in certain UV frequencies, these distant galaxies should be completely invisible. But not this one. Wherever this red dot is, it's super visible and super bright, and produces a telltale sign of the Lyman alpha emission that has never been seen so far away. With some of the galaxies that appear so much similar, only seen at much closer redshifts, here the redshift is usually less than 9. But even in these cases, the Lyman alpha was never this bright. And moreover, the nature of this galaxy is also currently difficult to explain. Because here this is something super compact and something very powerful, and something that's obviously producing huge amounts of radiation. Now obviously this could be a very large population of super super hot massive stars, or possibly even population 3 stars, the first stars in the universe. It could also be a powerful central black hole, or a combination of both. And so whatever this is, we've never seen anything like this before.